So this is the RE2005, or for the intellects who watch my uh, channel, RE2005. And uh, that was actually a really cancerous one because my voice is kind of going right now. But I feel like if I, if I keep talking, I'll start to build new voice box muscles. That's how it works. That's what, yeah. Uh, but apparently, the RE2005 almost won Italy world domination in World War II. <laughs> At least that's how it's represented in War Thunder to people that I know. This plane has a reputation of being extremely good at everything. Everything. This is a do-it-all fighter. Now, I'm not saying non-prominent fighters um, can't do well in a video game. I'm just saying that we really haven't seen a plane do this for quite some time. And for a plane that we have really not heard about too much, at least me. So what this means is that we can play with our head cut off. We're gonna turn with everything. We're gonna burn with everything. We're gonna climb for everything. We're gonna dive for everything. Now we will put in some good uh, decision making into that, but um, chances are we're gonna be kind of ridiculous. Um, and on top of that, we have three MG151s and two 12.7 meatball launchers. Now, just to trigger all the you know who's in the um, watching this right now, fight me. The mine shell really isn't that cool, okay? It's not like, it's not that cool and it's not that good. Yo, 2019 would be cool to like assign your own fuel amount, okay? If you can bring a PO2 in top tier gameplay with a, the friend, I can assign my own fuel amount. Sorry. <laughs> now let's see how, what, does she want to take off already? Oh my gosh, she wants to fly. Okay, pretty average take. Well, it's a little bit earlier than natural uh, lift ability. There's a D9, and I'm kind of... No, th th this feels like an, an average takeoff. It does. Now, we're on Klonganen, whatever that is. We're going to go for a... I'm just going to go right into it, see, and just learn it as fast as possible. I feel like learning this aircraft is just taking it out one game. I'm going to climb at... Oh, that's a really nice cockpit. I love that. I mean, what I see with the RE2005... Well, at least one bomber's gone. Is that it has the wings of a Spitfire. And the thin silhouette... Uh, fuselage of a 109. At the same time, it kind of looks like a Spitfire. But, like, meaner. Looks like a meaner. Ah, I, I, I hope people get what I'm trying to say there. So, 330 in the climb at about 17, 16 degrees. Pipper's on the 15.5. Mm, Engine's getting a little hot. This is an above average climb rate here, but not that much. Enemy spot it. I think I might just go for 3,000 meters. Oh, wow. I'm much higher than them. And so what's going to happen here is that I can just push their climb where either they're going to have to stall climb for me and I can... Oh, dang. Um, and I can use my speed just to get even above them more. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. If you try it, you're dead, dude. Okay, we're gonna go in. He tried it. Oh my lord! That was nice. Now, how does it handle high speed maneuvering? Critical? No compression? Hey, teammate, watch out. Okay, where's my Spitfire? Okay, he's, he's still hanging in there. Oh no, um, I don't know if this is my kill. I know I critted a wing, we're just gonna let him fall. 
Idle the power. Yo, y'all. Y'all stinky. <laughs> okay, P47 above us. Now, I, I, I am pretty quick here. Um, yeah, uh, this thing doesn't really like to compress. Pretty nice. Dude, no one has killed that Spitfire yet. That's embarrassing. Uh, yeah, I felt <laughs> I felt pretty much in all control there. I was I was traveling at 600 kilometers an hour turning and um yeah, that was uh I still had pretty good movement of my uh, airplane. Okay, we're starting our climb. For these P-51s, let's level here. We got a bouncer to our top right. Don't go head on with both of those guns. Gosh, passive hate. You will never get this. You will never get this. La 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 la. You are now dead, comrade. This thing is ridiculous. Now, not saying he couldn't have done that with a Spitfire. That was a bad um, commitment by that 51. <laughs> All right, let's start to climb again. <laughs> oh. Easy. We are extremely slow. He's definitely going to aggro on me. Maybe not. Now he's really fast. And I could get- Oh, 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 why are you turning? Oh, I thought that would get him if he would have gone up a little bit. Come on, Joe, get him! Get him, Joe! We got 220 mils left. I'm just being ridiculous right now. Okay, we're at the altitude now, which is good. But he's, he's gonna have a little more energy to get up. Oh no, a Falkwolf just pushed him down. Let's be easy here. This is, this is really strange right now. I, I think my rudder's damaged or something. I felt some compression right there with the rudder. First time feeling that. Okay, 16 minutes of fuel. We're on climb for, uh, ooh, first oil overheat. We'll actually burn it up until we get about uh, 320 kilometers an hour in this climb. Okay, or we'll not do that. You know, die as shit when he dies head on in P47. Doesn't even do anything serious. Well, this one at least have one grand brain left. <laughs> <sighs> Yo, guys, look at this amazing, like, um, map design. For, like, you know, look, look, look. Okay, got those targets, 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 got those targets. You know, it's just like, um, how to be War Thunder... Uh, game designer. Control C, Control V. No. That's a little too much shade. Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V. Control C, Control C. Ah, oh, stop. But it's true, dudes. It's true. I feel like majority of War Thunder's budget is spent on the title of the next patch. That's where it comes down to. <laughs> Black Shark. Now, I could push him down, but I, I might want to... 
Hang on, let's see. Oh, okay, 50. Oh, good lord. What, what kind of 51 is that? I'm going to be in the thick of it here. This guy should react now. There he goes. Okay. We'll push him down. LA, it's behind us. We got a Tempest who thinks he's really cool. I'm going to yeet on the Tempest. Okay, that's ridiculous. Up we go. We need to get off WEP now. But we have energy trap potential on the Bearcat. I'm going to go with it. He already knows not to do this. If he, if he goes through with this... Okay, yep. He's baited. We're, we're just going to follow it in. Nice 109. Oh. Now I could probably just hold this trigger down or this button and out turn the P-47. Wasn't that a cool, cool defensive fly right there? Okay, I'm going to pull out from this area... It's a, little, it's a little intense for me. See, this time the allies really climbed well. I don't want to get by myself. I, actually, it's not a bad idea. If, if I can go 1v1, I kind of have no problem. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 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 look, look. It's my wingman. Okay, we're here to help. We're a little slow, though. Now, there's really nothing that he can do unless he wants to dive. But I'm kind of below him. Oh, my gosh. This guy's going fast. That's a nice cesspool over there, though. Okay, we're going to keep our altitude. They're getting slow, dude. Oh, nicely done. That must have been a cool dogfight to be a part of. Kind of glad I didn't ruin it. I absolutely hate that. When I'm having like a really sweet dogfight one-on-one -on -one and then, you know, granted the teammate's trying to help, but he sees I have a clear advantage and everything's going well. And he's like... But I, I, I understand why. Now, this is, this is a, not a bad target to go after and help out. We got a P-59 engaging a J-2M. Now, the P-59 can outturn him, but the J-2M might be able to out-accelerate once they get below, like, 400 kilometers an hour. Ooh, P-59 did get the J-2M. And he's going to have time to escape from me. I don't know if he has seen me. We're going to cut him off. We're going to wep. No more climbing. He will have some trouble getting up to speed here, but he does have a lot of altitude to uh, dive on.
Yes. Go JU87. Win us the game. I wonder where that P47 is, though. All right, off whip. This is like what happens when you put a jet at a prop BR. GG. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. Hey guys, you want to watch another? You guys want to watch another ARB video? This is this is why people watch War Thunder videos. So you don't have to sit there for 15 minutes chasing a, a non-existent, non-tangible plane. Well, okay. First things first. This is wonderful at 5.3. Second thing is, that was so fun. Bye, guys.